Eddie Arcaro was Grand Slam King of his era. King of the Stake Riders. He accumulated 554 stakes. A mark broken by Shoemaker and would have been broken by Freddie Rose. In a career spent in 31 years between 1931 and 1961, Arcaro rode unchallenged. He run 17 Triple Crown events, 5 Kentucky Derbies, 6 Preakness, 6 Belmont Stakes. He's the only rider to score a double in the Triple Crown races aboard World Away in 1941 and Citation 1948. That was the same year Freddie Rowe broke in his first winner, Yaraka at Juan Franco. He wrote 4,779 winners and finished in the money on more than half of the 24,000 horses he rode. This is the man Freddie Road had to impress to ride in New York City. Eddie R. Caro was a white man schooled in old time Jim Crow. Freddie Rose was an articulate Negro from Central America. There was one major barrier between them connecting as human beings, the color of their skin. Freddie Rose was one of few who looked as if he belonged nowhere else but in the saddle. He seemed to blend with the animal the guiding force that would extract every ounce of talent and the heart the beast had in him to bring a winner home. He belonged to the rare category of athletes like like Johnny Longdon, Lafitte Pink Eye, Bill Hardtack, and Bill Shoemaker. Although our Carol had an impressive record, remember just like in baseball and in boxing, the Negro was not allowed on the playing field. And no playing field at that time was leveled because of Jim Crow. The records set by our Caro, Ruth, and others were not undisputed because everyone did not get to play. <laughs>